हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स हमने पहले किए थे एंटीरियर सेगमेंट डिजीजेस के एम क्विज तो हम आज करेंगे पोस्टीरियर सेगमेंट डिजीजेस के एम क्विज सो आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट इज एनाटमिकली वॉट इज द अप्रॉक्सीमेटली लेंथ ऑफ द इंट्रा ऑर्बिटल पोर्शन ऑफ द ऑप्टिक नर्व फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वन एम एम सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज फोर्टीन टू ट्वेंटी एम एम थर्ड ऑप्शन इज फोर टू टेन एम एम एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी एम एम सो आवर राइट आंसर इज डी पार्ट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी एम एम Our question number second is: All of the following are true concerning the physiological cupping of optic disc, except a part widely variable between patient. Second, b part has less than zero point two asymmetry is acceptable. C part increase with age is acceptable. D part is fallow eye utilizes for comparison. Our correct answer is C part increase with age is acceptable. Question number third is what is which of the following statement is false concerning the vascular supply of the optic nerve head? so our options are a part o and h mostly supplied by the central retinal artery second is cra normally transfers lamella cerebrosa as one vessel c part crv normally transfers lamella cerebrosa as one vessel d part is O and H board supply is highly compartmentalized. So our correct answer is A part. O and H all mostly supplied by the central retinal artery. Our next question is, which of the following anatomical section of the optic nerve head is associated with the border tissue of lechink a part surface layer b part prelaminal region c part lamellar region d part retlo laminar region our correct answer is fourth b part prelaminal region our next question is manilation myelination is mostly commonly associated with which of the following section or region of the optic nerve a part nerve fiber layer b part prelaminar layer c part lamellar region d part retlo laminar region our correct answer is d part retlo laminar region question number 6 is which of the following anatomical structure is not associated with the human pupil photopic path a part optic tract b part lateral geniculate body c part superior colicus d part pretractal nucleus so our correct answer is b part lateral geniculate body our next question is which is false concerning an afferent pupillary defect a part pathogenomic for an optic nerve conduction defect b part also called a margans gun pupil c part requires the swinging flashlight test 
डी पार्ट कंपेरिजन ऑफ पीपलरी रिस्पॉन्स बिटवीन बोथ हाई सो अवर करेक्ट आंसर इज ए पार्ट पैथोजिनोमिक फॉर एन ऑप्टिक नर्व कंडक्शन डिफेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन इन्वॉल्विंग द ऑप्टिक नर्व डज नॉट यूजली प्रजेंट एज अ रेड ग्रीन कलर डिफेक्ट ए पार्ट ऑप्टिक न्यूरोपैथी बी पार्ट ऑप्टिक नर्व एंड विजुअल पाथवे डिजीज सी पार्ट लेवल्स ऑप्टिक एट्रोफी डी पार्ट ग्लूकोमा सो आवर राइट आंसर इज डी पार्ट ग्लूकोमा आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर ट्रू कंसर्निंग द लाइट कंपेरिजन टेस्ट एक्सेप्ट ए पार्ट यूटिलाइज इज वाइट लाइट B part comparison of intensity of light between the two eyes C part affected eye sees a lower intensity of light D part typically a uh, sensitive than the red cap test So our correct answer is D part typically more reliable sensitive than the red cap test Our next question is Which of the following neurological sign is least likely associated with demyelinating disease? Our correct answer is C part pain on eye movement. Our next question is all of the following are true concerning a pre-stent हेलोइड आर्टरी एक्सेप्ट आवर करेक्ट आंसर इज सी पार्ट थ्री परसेंट इंसिडेंस ऑफ प्री मेच्योर इन्फेंट्स आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Which of the following characteristics is false concerning congenitally prepapillary vascular lobes? A part majority are arterials, B part usually bilateral, C part usually asymptomatic, D part usually benignant and stable. Our correct answer is B part usually bilateral. Question number thirteenth is which of the following is not a complication of a typically noted congenital prepapillary vascular lobe? A part amaurasis fugues, B part vitreal hemorrhage, C part V R V O, D part V R A O. Our correct answer is C part V R V O. Our next question is: All of the following are characteristics of congenital macrovascular accept. A part single abnormally large retinal vessel. B part usually a retinal vein. C part usually transverse the macula to serve. service both sides of the horizontal ray d part arteriovenous communication have not been associated so our answer is d part arteriovenous communication have not been associated question number 15th is erasmus angioma is a rare variant of which of the following congenital retinal condition a part macro vessels b part pre papillary loops c part collo retinal vessels d part pre stent hyoid artery our correct answer is a part macro vessels our next question is all of the following statements which is false concerning cilio ves retinal vessels a part usually a retinal arteriole b part derived primarily from the 
सेंट्रल रिटीनल आर्टरी सी पार्ट नाइंटी परसेंट आर लोकेटेड टेम्पररी ऑन द डिस्क डी पार्ट इंसिडेंस ऑफ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द आई ऑफ थेलमोस्कोपी आवर करेक्ट आंसर इज बी पार्ट ड्राइव प्राइमरली फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल रेटिनल आर्टरी आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर क्लिनिकल साइंस ऑफ माइलिनेटर नर्व फाइवर्स एक्सेप्ट ए पार्ट सुपरफिशियल वाइट पैचिज ऑन द रेटिना बी पार्ट फैदरी पेरीफिलर एज इज नोटेड सी पार्ट मे प्रोड्यूस लोकलाइज एब्सल्यूट विजुअल फील्ड डी पार्ट फील्ड इफेक्ट डी पार्ट यूजली नोटेड कॉन्टिन्यूस विद द ऑप्टिक डिस्क अवर करेक्ट आंसर इज सी पार्ट मे प्रोड्यूस लोकलाइज एब्सल्यूट विजुअल फील्ड डिफेक्ट अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज लीस्ट एसोसिएटेड विद कोराइडल क्रिसेंस ए पार्ट मायोपिया बी पार्ट एट्रोफी सी पार्ट कैराडाइटस डी पार्ट कोराइडल सिक्लेरोसिस अवर करेक्ट आंसर इज ए पार्ट मायोपिया Our next question is the most commonly reported symptoms associated with choroidal and scleral crescents are a part decreased visual acuity b part relative visual field defect c part no symptoms reported d part metamorphosia our correct answer is c part no symptoms reported our next question is which of the following is not associated with congenital mal insertion of the optic nerve head a part oblique insertion through scleral canal b part vertical oval optic disc c part nasal rim appears elevated d part nasal scleral crescents common so our correct answer is d part secre nasal scleral crescents common our next question is of the listed clinical signs which is false consistent with the diagnosis of true tilt disc syndrome a part horizontal oval optic disc b part scleral crescent common d part c part or superior or superior nasal staphyloma noted d part relative temporal or bitemporal visual field defect noted our correct answer is c part superior or superior nasal staphyloma noted question number 22 is which of the following is false concerning congenital peripapillary staphyloma a part relatively uncommon condition b part usually unilateral presentation c part believed cause of failure of posterior sclera to develop d part strong association with retinal detachment our correct answer is d part strong association with retinal detachment question number 23 is all of the following clinical signs are associated with congenital peripapillary staphyloma except a part vertical oval optic disc b part peripapillary retina and choroid show atrophic pigment changes C part associated with high myopia in the affected eye D part staphylomatous excavation of journal minus 8 to minus 20 diopter our correct answer is A part vertically oval optic disc our next question is
which of the following is not a characteristic of optic nerve coloboma define the missing part of tissue may affected the optic optic disc alone does not involve adjacent retina and choroid autosomal dominant hereditary pattern noted in some cases our correct answer is c part does not involve adjacent retina and choroid our next question is clinical signs of optic nerve coloboma includes all of the following except large white exacerbation noted and optic disc B part abnormal blood vessel pattern noted C part usually inferior disc involved C part over 50% incidence of retinitomatous retinal detachment our correct answer is D part over 50% incidence of retinitomatous retinal detachment our next question is which of the following is false retinochoroidal coloboma a part may occur as an isolated co retinal defect may occur as multiple retinal defect does not extend to involve the optic disc may be unilateral or bilateral in presentation our correct answer is C part does not extend to involve the optic disc. Question number 27 is All of the following signs of retinochoroidal coloboma except A part often large white chorioretinal defect with distinct borders B part may or may not present with pigmentation C part typically inferior or inferior nasal retinal involved. D part non regimatous genius retinal detachment often associated. So our correct answer is D part non regi non regimatous genius retinal detachment oftenly associated. Our next question is approximately what percentage of morning glory disc anomaly are complicated by a cirrhosis non retinomatous retinal detachment 25% of all cases 33% of all cases 50% of all cases or 75% of all cases so our correct answer is B part 33% of all cases. Thank you friends.